Morning guys. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Cardio. Woo! Thursday. And I am. Good morning, Milesy. Oh, Bowles, how you doing? You here? Great. So, it's Thursday, hip hop day. I'm thinking of changing the hip hop day to be fair. But um, I'll take suggestions. Nile, how you doing? So, this morning is brought to you by HD Vita. It's a multivitamin, um, specially designed for people like you and people like me. Oh, excellent. Jinjin's friend, where you at? Where you at? I'm not feeling this music. I just don't get some of this hip hop music, to be fair. Maybe it's my age. Um. This is a DJ noise mixtape. This is a DJ noise mixtape. See what we got. So, guys, hi. Miss Devonish, how you doing? Nice to meet you. So, one, two, three, four. Just gonna have a steady pace on the bike. That's better. Wake up the neighbors. Yeah, you gotta send me a playlist. I'm open to playlist, guys. Um, I wouldn't say being a DJ is one of my stronger talents. I'm probably more used to making music than listening to music. Are you that true? What you know about these tunes? Listen. I was there, I was there, man. These tunes on the, on the streets. I was up in the R&B clubs. I sneaked out, man, I sneaked out. Mom and dad didn't know nothing. I was out on the streets. Looking at the time, wearing my church trousers. Yep, that was me. Keep them trousers clean, man, because I've got to wear them to church on Sabbath. Go, guys, so. Be toes into the pedals. Toes on the pedals and push with your toes. Good morning, good morning, Ethan. How you doing, my friend? Let's go, one, two, three, four. Yes, you were. Probably the greatest DJ in the world. If Carlsberg made DJs, Miles Lee would be one of them. At a similar to you from Friday, Miles Lee the DJ knew me. He was shot in his ear nine times, but he still carried on being a DJ. Okay, guys. One, two, three, four. Most anticipated movie of 2021, the Miles Lee movie. Okay, okay. Just keep going, Ethan. When you're ready, man, let me know. We'll do that competition prep. We'll get you ready for your first comp. Get you on stage. I'm winning some trophies, some trophies. Okay, 
Yep, do your cardio, brother. Do your cardio, keep it trim. Okay, guys. Let's just loosen up. Arms by your side. And then we bring them up. Small circles. You see? And big circles. Arms over your head and push. Push. That's it, guys. Just stretch. Wake your body up. Arm in front. Bring it round. Touch your shoulder. arm and push your arm in, stretching this muscle here, the rear delts, okay, Whew. okay guys, we're going to put the tension up, by right, two, one, two, three, four, we're going to keep a pretty steady state through this, Today we want to work on a breathing a little bit more. So from the very start, let's try and breathe. Focus on breathing. Taking it air and just pushing it out. So if you're not on a bike, just breathing in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. That's it guys. Now let's do a vacuum. In five, four, three, two, one, and vacuum. Everybody is on their bike, hold on to your handlebars, pull your stomach in, breathe out, tighten the stomach wall, and relax. And you, my brother, kick some ass today, be the boss, boss it up, man, boss it up. Let's go, guys. One, two, three, four. Stay with me. And we're gonna do one more vacuum. In five, four, three, two, one. Vacuum. And relax. Yes. So today, today is shoulders and vacuum. That's what it says in my notes. I actually keep notes. Yes, I do. Yes, I'm not irresponsible. You can trust me when you pick me then. I is not a crazy man. So, Let's hit the shoulders. Remember the first one we do is the one with your thumbs against your chest. You just bring your elbows up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. 
fine. Ten, nice. Okay. Now the second one, you're lifting a bar in front of you. Ten bar. Bring the bar up to your chin and elbows high. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Squeeze and hold at the top. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Nice. And relax. Chicken dance. So, there's actually a, a Biggie Smalls documentary on Netflix at the moment. Really, really good. I enjoyed it. In my, my Netflix binge. Okay, guys. We're going to bring the tension down back to the middle. Right in the middle. As we move into Casey and Joe. Is it Casey and Joe? How do you want it? And two pack, two pack, two pack, two pack. Two pack if you're from Wolverhampton. Two pack if you're from everywhere else. One, two, three, four. They say I'm for real. How do you want it? How do you feel? Come on, guys. One, two, three, four. Let's keep this up. Yeah. What did you think? Really good. Okay. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah. I actually think I think two packs pe two box people kill Biggie. But I don't think Biggie had anything to do with Tupac. I think it was the police. The police. How do you want it? How do you feel? Come on guys. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's go back to shoulders. This time, instead of doing the chicken dance. I'm just going to put our arms out, bring them up to the side, squeeze, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Straight away, just put your hands in front of you. You're gonna bring our hands here, bring them to the side, bring them down, bring them up to the front, bring them around to the side, down, up. Keep going, guys. Just them long eyelashes. <laughs> I mean, Jada got into her entanglements with him, didn't she? Really, you know what I mean? Her entanglements. 
Come on, guys, let's keep going. Keep pedaling and keep doing your shoulders with me. Don't fail me now. Stay with me. Stay with me. How do you want it? Come on, guys. You should be feeling the burn in your shoulders now. Well, I am anyway. I'm mushroom. <laughs> Let's go. Beast mode. Come on, guys. Shoulders out. To the front. To the side. Back down. Okay, let's focus on the pedaling now. One, two, three, four. Let's bring the tension up by two. Let's go, guys. One, two, three, four. Woo! Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> I know. I know, they get jealous of Tupac. How old Tupac would be 50 this year or something like that, wouldn't he? Baby, baby. I wasn't jealous of Biggie. I know! Baby, 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 baby. Good morning, Isaac. Isaac, where are semi youth? Yeah, Jada Pinkett. How does she be giving out relationship advice? Have you seen this org? That she left. I mean, if Will Smith can't hold it down, what, what chance have we got? There's only... What did I hear? I heard that there's only two other men who are more wholesome than Will Smith. Only two other men. And that is Denzel Washington and Barack Obama. Then there's Will Smith. Then he's up there with them man there. Nelson Mandela, them man. So if Will Smith can't hold, stop his wife from cheating him with August, with August, what the hell of a chance have I got? I haven't got Will Smith money. I wasn't in Independence Day. I didn't play, Ali. Let's go, guys. One, two, three, four. Taking the man for four. One, two, three, four. Let's bring the tension up a bit more, guys. Two more. Actually, just kind of get up to the top. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Now, what we're going to do. Get your heels into the pedals. Heels on pedals, let's go. One, two, three, four. That's right. Will Smith has not put a foot wrong in his life. I don't know of. I don't swear for anybody, but boy. Can't get better CV than Will Smith. Can't get a better CV. Unless. 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 Unless Will Smith has got a toothpick.
I said it. I put it out there. Will Smith, he was married before. He got divorced and then got with Jada. Talking of small penises, is um, Mace, P. Diddy, one, two, three, four, come on guys, he's not, is he, is he not, actually in the interview, he says I'm going to get you back, she said you already got me back, I wonder what that meant, one, two, three, four, Married to his son's mom, wasn't he? Yeah, they were married. He divorced the rest of them. Bounced it to the curb. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Let's go, guys. Yeah, Jada got a lot to say. That's it. H. One, two, three, four. Come on, guys, heels into the pedals. <laughs> Dom's just laughing, boy. Come on, Dom. You gotta tell us what your thoughts are. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I know there's some strong, independent women on here. But you gotta stand your ground, man. Because she fell in love. I suppose. When we were kids. Yeah! He was a drug addict, wasn't he? And he was just, he's the same age as their son. I don't know. I don't know. Right guys, one, two, three, four. Keep pumping, heels into the pedals. Let's push. I don't know, I think, um, one, two, three, four. I don't know, I think potentially, Potentially it could happen to any of us. But I think some of us are probably wise enough not to put ourselves in a situation where it potentially could happen. Yeah. Come on, Tom. Let's hear you, man. One, two, three, four. Come on, guys, put your ass into it. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Stay on it, guys. Almost there now, four more minutes. Push it. Put you back into it. Come on, guys. One, two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> so much to unpack. So much to unpack from those statements. My personal experience and my observation is that sometimes people like, they like drama in their life. I think um, when Jada was with Tupac, there was a lot of drama going on. Tupac was always, you know, something, something, something like what. But then she spent time living with Will Smith with his wholesome life. Come to bed, With his wholesome life. And she's got bored. She wants some action. She wants some action, man. You guys are talking about the marriage, like you were part of it. Yes! I was part of the entanglement. I was entanglement part two. <laughs> I'm in entanglement. I'm in entanglement. Yeah. 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 Come on guys, push your feet into the pedals, let's go. Stay with me. Almost there. Exactly. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Megan was going through it, man. The queen was taking the mick on a daily basis. I know. Megan, would you like some curry gout? Give some curry gout. Taking the mick every day. Every day. Poor Megan. Come on, guys. One last push. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Yeah. One, two, three, four. But I did speak to some someone from there. Asian community and they said the way they treated Megan is very similar to what sometimes happens in Asian families. That's right. That's right. I'm going to be in the next Entanglement movie. Starring Drew Fisher. At a cinema near you from Friday. He knew what he was getting into. But he still went anyway. She had a pink cat. The ultimate film. She was setting for him. <laughs> Guys. We come to the end. Such a beautiful moment. Oh. Right, tomorrow, tomorrow it's old school R&B. Old school, baby. So, bring yourself, 5.45, staying alive. Let's do this. Guys, have a great day. Have an amazing day. Let's bust the day. Kick ass. And I'll see you tomorrow. Love you guys. See you later.
bitch named Shay. She used to be the homeboy's lady. Oh, that bitch. She ain't need a breeze. Wanna tell that bitch, please? Raise up all things in your teeth. Did you get some of these? 